That's okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so I'll take what I'm on. I'm going to do the. Uh, you can't really do that quietly. Did you, did you just hear what I said? Uh, after. <laughs> 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 and then I'm going to preach to the congregation here and then we get started today. Ladies and gentlemen, my privilege to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Dan and Lindsay Orr. Pictures for the bride and groom start at 1.15, so you two need to be pretty much set when you get here. Um, 1.45 then is with the party. Chris is going to be on a tight schedule so that we can start ushering then at 3.15. 2.30 is with all the family, and we start ushering at 3.15. All right, I'm talking to the cute couple. I'm going to get in a little bit closer. So you have to get a little bit closer here. Joe, get out of the picture. You guys, it's the night before. How are you feeling? Oh, we're great. I'll go down like this so you have to look up. Yeah. Good. Any any uh, thoughts while you guys were going through the ceremony? Like, what was going through your mind when you were practicing? A little chaotic at first. But then <laughs> we, got, we got situated. Good. You guys, it's going to be so much fun. Yeah. What are you guys going to do tonight after this? Tonight? Freak out or are you going to just relax? We need to relax. Good. Uh, take it easy. Just spend time with our friends. Good. And, Good. And Is this uncomfortable talking to a camera? Oh, a bit. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's fine. All right. Okay, you guys. So I'll go around and talk to people. All right. Okay. All right. You guys have to turn around. Hey. Hey. I don't know you, so I can't say, hey, Joe Schmo, turn around. Okay, you guys have to give comments here to the, we guess get a little bit closer here. There we go. I have to be close because we can't hear this. Right? So, what would you, what, what are you guys thinking about the, I'm making sure I am talking here. Um, uh, about Ben and Lindsay, any, any thoughts you want to share? Um, I don't know. It's a rehearsal dinner, so this is for them. This is for them. At, talk to talk to the camera like you're talking to them because they'll be watching this. You guys are really so, like, say, together. No, you have to look at the camera. Oh. Yeah, don't look at me. I'm, I'm really happy for you both. I love you so much. And I think you have an awesome day tomorrow. And I know everything's going to work out. Oh, yeah. And, and, what, and what's your name? I'm Kelly. Hi, Kelly. <laughs> um, thanks for letting me be a part of your wedding. And congratulations. And best of luck. Awesome. Well, thanks, you guys. Have fun eating. <laughs> okay. Uh, sure. Guys, turn around. This video is for... Turn, turn around. Come on. Nate, anything you'd like to share to Ben and Lindsay? And just talk to them. Like, talk to it like you're talking to them. Uh, well, something deep. Something that they'll never forget. This is going to be like showing... They're showing this to their kids. So this is this is pretty important stuff. No pressure. Good story that, you know... Roommate stories, I'm sure. Oh. Uh, that would be incriminating to call the wrong people on Twitter. But uh, no, I'm happy for you guys. Uh, wish you the best of luck. Uh, you're awesome, Ben. You're awesome. Uh, have a great time. Awesome. Keep in touch. To keep in touch. <laughs> Stay cool. No, 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 your turn. Ben, you mean the world to me. <laughs> I love you. You met the greatest girl in the world. I'm, uh, I'm so happy for you. I want you two to be happy for the rest of your lives. Go get them. 
<laughs> okay, you yeah, you know, I know I love all these cliches going on. Okay, we'll do Mark. Mark, any thoughts? <laughs> He's trying to drink water so he doesn't have to say anything. This is for Ben, Lindsay, them. Their grandkids. Their grandkids. Your future nephews and nieces. Uh, Lindsay, your happiness is overflowing. <laughs> Just say, <laughs> Just say, man, I love you both. Good luck. Okay. All right, Shasta and Nate. Any any advice? Hey, read that poem you wrote. Hey, any advice from a newly married couple? Oh. How long have you guys been married now? Two years? A year and ten months. Almost two years, right on. <laughs> Don't get a bad right bloody guys. nose. <laughs> yeah, no rest in the yeah, night before. No night before. <laughs> got it. Okay, I'm going to move over here. Okay, you got to say who you are. The camera's here, Coach. Coach, I'm trying to get your brother on this show. You're going to go, Ben. What do you wait so long for? <laughs> there you go. Okay, Jack, do you have anything you'd like to say? Or? I'm just uh, happy to be here. Glad to enjoy the activities. Right on. Everybody can come out to Colorado for their honeymoon. For their honeymoon? I think they're already going to Hawaii, I think. Hey, Jack's got a basement in Hawaii. Is there any thoughts you guys have? Or? Yeah. Ben and Lindsay, we are just so proud of you. Are you away from me? Are you have a great honeymoon and a great life together. We look forward to meeting your family. Right on, right on. Suge and Winnie say hi to Ben and Lindsay on the camera. These are the two flower girls right here. Just wave to the camera and say, we love you, Uncle Ben. Hi, uh, Nancy, Lindsay. And this is, uh, hi, Debbie. Good luck, always, 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 many, many, many years of happiness. <laughs> right on. Okay, I'm moving, moving, bye to the table. Tense conversation going on here, so you have to say... Okay, you have to say your name and relation to the either the bride or the groom. She's a successful businesswoman of the friends. And I Okay, and any any thoughts for Ben or Lindsay? Because this is going to them, so talk to like not so talk to me. <laughs> Okay, well, I'll come back to you. That's the question I'm asking each one of you. Any, any, any things you'd like to share for them? This is their camera, their video. So. Which one? I have to come in close because you can't hear.
Because of Ben. Yeah. What, he's horny? <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm not saying. <laughs> the bottom line is. He is, we know him. <laughs> ben, you're going to need to edit this video after you. It's his fault. He told me to do the filming. He's doing the filming. Bottom line is, Ben, I love that you come and visit our home and spend time with our kids yeah. and our family. It has meant the world to us. So thank you for that. And the only Just say hi, this is me, and we love you. You know, it doesn't have to be long, it can be long, it can be short. And it's, this is for Ben and Lindsay, so just talk like you're talking to them, all right? Okay, ready to go. How come I'm at the kitty table? <laughs> Great comment. <laughs> Any comments, you guys? Or at least say your name and who, what your relation is. What was that?
that you have fulfilled that promise for our men. Pat and I have come to love you. You are a special person. And we think you're God's perfect gift for them. We're so thankful uh, for you. You know, when uh, when Ben was deciding whether to marry Lindsay, I said, Ben, well, why, why do you want to marry Lindsay? And he says, Dad, she loves me. <laughs> Lindsay, this is not going to be a one-way street. You're marrying a special guy. This guy is, is really special. And I, I think the way I can share the impact that Ben has when he walks in the room, if, if you walk in a room and you open up a bottle of precious perfume, it changes the room. And there's something about Ben's spirit and uh, just the, his presence that brings humbleness and really impacts people. And I can share that with you by his four trips this summer. Uh, the last four summers, Ben has traveled for baseball. Two summers in uh, collegiate baseball. I think he was uh, uh, with Nate one summer in Kansas. He went back to Cape Cod in Kansas, one of the top collegiate baseball leagues, and preparing guys to move on to the next level, which is professional athletics. I, I, I forgot the, the letter that one of the families that Ben stayed at. In four years, he's been staying with families. Even in the last two years, two summers, when he's been on a professional level down at the lower league, they still stay with families. But uh, Ben, in, in five, six weeks, has made a tremendous impact on the families that he stayed with. It's not often when your son or daughter goes away that every family that he stayed with writes the parents and says, this guy is a special guy and we've fallen in love with Ben and we will really miss Ben. Ben, you're God's person. You're going to make it special. Time. And I know that, Ben, because you've already proven that in life as you've impacted people and some people in the summer for eternity. <laughs> you know, tonight... Ben and Lindsay are starting their marriage, but uh, I want Ben and Lindsay to know that you're starting on a foundation of strength. Uh, today in our society, even in the Christian areas, 50% of the marriages don't make it. And so we can read this promise tonight, but if we don't follow through with God's perfect plan, we will not experience the fruit and benefits of this. But I want you to know, Ben, that you and Lindsay are not starting out alone because you have a history of parents on both sides who have proven that God's plan for marriage is the best way to do it. And so as you start out tonight, you can be assured that you can have strength in your marriage because your mom and dad walked the talk that they shared with you on that. And Ben and Lindsay, not only tonight do you have your parents and the strength and the confidence that your marriage can be all that God wants it to make be because of the example that your parents are have. But tonight you have friends here. You have friends. So when you start out on your marriage, you're not alone. You have a support group of friends that are here that are going to make this marriage really enriching in all that God wants it. And then don't you ever forget the fact that you have these friends, the relationships that you've built then with Nate and your brother and the relationship with Chris, they are there. And that's why this marriage is going to make it. This is why you can have the enriching experience that God wants you to have. But on top of that, Ben and Lindsay, both of you guys are fortunate that you have really good family units. You have brothers and sisters that are really special. You have brothers and sisters already proven their love and commitment for you. So when you start out tonight, the one of the things I, I, I think about most with, with Mary and Pat, and it's, it's one of the best things that ever happened to me here on this earth. I would say the second thing that really has been important to Pat and I is just the family support that we have. Her sisters and the unit that's been there and the support. And for me, my brothers and, and my sisters who aren't here tonight, but they are here because they've been a part of Pat and I's life. And, and, and help us to build the kind of home that you guys are growing and, and, and Marley and Grace home uh, in that. So yeah, have your brothers and, and sisters uh, that are here tonight uh, 
because of that and your extended family to have two two of your relatives in your in your in your uh, ceremonies and a youth pastor that's your adopted brother here you are very good. so when i stand here tonight and i talk about uh lindsay being god's answer and blessing to your life when i talk about the riches that god aspect of marriage i'm not just blowing a bunch of words i'm blowing it from a, a proven lifestyle and support basis so i'm excited i'm excited about the family unit that you're starting uh this week and about the riches that you have ahead of us and the continued tradition of family and christ in the center of that family and we're excited for you and we're excited for our new family unit that we're getting to know and the love that they've shown uh, to us. You know, we want to celebrate uh, your your commitment tonight. I think in normal circles it's toast the bride and groom, and I think maybe you might do some of that tomorrow, but you know, I'm, I'm an old dog. I have I have different ways of doing it, so we're going to do that in a special way tonight, but before we do that, I mean, I don't know why we forgot to practice the most important thing of the ceremony today. We forgot to practice it. So by the authority vested me as your father, Ben, I command that you and Lindy get up and practice the kiss. Yeah. Yeah. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! 